I guess I should shuttle it on over to the That's a good idea. weather center. It is the weekend that. time. We want to know what's going to happen. A lot of people do. A lot of people <laughs> do. And it's been a busy last couple of days. And hopefully, Mother Nature will give us the weekend, at least, before we see more storms. I think there's a good bet many of us won't be dealing with the strong storms we've been seeing. Although tonight, uh, we are still seeing some lingering showers in the east. Flood advisory continuing for 10, till 1030 for Harding Quay and San Miguel counties, all because of this very strong line of storms that happen to be severe but have since weakened. Now, they will drift towards the Portales area, but as they do so, I think that this isn't going to hold together. As we head over towards the east, we are, or the west rather, Carrizozo, a few spotty showers. The Rio Grande Valley, though, pretty quiet. Definitely not the case the last couple of days. As a matter of fact, we've seen many ominous clouds like this one sent in by a viewer via cell phone. And thank you so much for that picture. If you got a picture, send it to us. Picks at krqe.com. By the way, that storm does look a little dry, meaning let it mainly just a windmaker. It looks like we'll see plenty of those potentially this weekend in parts of the state. Rain cooled air to the north. We're in the 50s and 60s, 70s and 80s down to our south. And across the southwest, it was a fairly active day, especially across New Mexico and the east side of the state, but a little drier out towards California and New Mexico. And that is what we can expect. More dry weather slowly inching towards the eastern areas of the state. Uh, we saw a little bit of that drier air beginning to filter into the west, but for tomorrow, that front progresses a little further south. We'll see more storms out here in the east with spot dry storms expected for the west, meaning that They'll mainly be windmakers. For the early next week, this high begins to nudge a little bit further to the east. That's going to shunt moisture pretty much altogether. We'll see a few spotty mountain storms between now and next week. And then towards the end of next week, this high will finally work its way out towards the east, allowing some of that monsoonal moisture back into the region. So uh, it's been missing for a while. Looks like it will make a return. Let's take a look at the numbers now and show you as we kick off the weekend, looks like it's going to be pretty pleasant across most areas of the West. Highs anywhere from those 80s to 90s. The Northeast, now this is an area where we could see a few showers rolling off the Sangre de Cristos. The Southwest uh, could see a few dry storms. And the Southeast, same deal here, a little bit more moisture to work with, a little bit more unstable atmosphere, so we could pop a few stronger storms out here. East Mountains, highs in the mid 80s. Santa Fe, there's a seven day forecast. Forecast highs will be in the upper 80s, overnight lows in the 50s. Of course, the 90s, though, returning by Sunday. A little bit drier for the Albuquerque area. Maybe we'll squeeze out a spot shower, but all in all, Saturday, Sunday looking pleasant, and even the beginning of next week will even heat up near 100. Again? Whoa. Yeah. I don't think we'll hit it, though. We'll come close. Right. Thanks, right. Travis. Mm -hmm. Dan's up next with sports.